Hello, so I'm going to be putting up some tutorials about the basics of using Blender. But first I wanted to make this video talking about what Blender can actually do and what it can do for paleontologists. That's because Blender is this incredibly powerful open source software for 3D modeling and animation. And what that basically means, if you're not familiar, is that you can make a Pixar-like uh, 3D animated movie from start to finish using this. So that means there's lots of different tools in here and it can be really overwhelming to start. If you just look at the layout I have pulled up right now, you can kind of get an idea of how overwhelming this can be as a beginner. So first let's take a look at two papers that have used either Blender or the paid industry equivalent, Maya, um, to do paleontology. So this first example I'm showing is from a paper that was actually developed as a Blender tutorial. Um, and basically what they did was they had to CT scan of this really nice uh, early Chelcerit fossil. And they wanted to reconstruct it in Blender. So the fossil itself was kind of squished. So they ended up remodeling all of the elements to create a more lifelike model in Blender to test out different walking gates. Um, so for instance, here you can see they start off with the primitive, uh, just a cylinder, and then they add more and more complexity. And then on the right, you can see this put together model. Um, I think this is a really great paper for introducing you to what Blender can do if you're interested. However, because it's from 2014 and Blender has been updated so much since then, I wouldn't recommend using it specifically as a tutorial. Uh, so the next paper I wanted to talk about is from 2019 and it used Maya, which is the industry equivalent software rather than Blender, but they can do basically the same thing. So in this paper, they were basically trying to reconstruct the gait of this stem amniote Oreo bodies. And so here they have their mesh of the Oreo bodies skeleton in Maya. And what they've done is rigged it, which allows them to assign bones and joints to different parts of the skeleton. And each of these uh, joints can have specified uh, ranges of movement. So you can imagine reconstructing a walk cycle. This is a really useful tool. Um, and one final thing that I found Blender really useful for is creating renderings, either videos or even just images uh, for papers and presentations. Um, this will just let you make really nice figures and show your fossils from any angle. So here I've just stuck a bone color onto my uh, fossil beaver skull, added some fancy blue lighting, and off it goes. 